Right, so the first thing we need is a fully charged battery and we just make sure it's fully charged by taking it off putting it back on the charger again and just make sure the little light goes out now you know it's fully charged so the next thing you need to do is with the with no battery in place to plug in the mains adapter and switch on the camera and see that it comes on which it has done so now we know that the mains is actually switched on and that it's not just a dead lead you've got that there is actually power coming through it and our battery now at this stage we'll put the battery on as well so now we've got the camera set up as Sony specifies with a powered adapter connected and a fully charged battery right next step card goes in any slot for formatting but we'll just get used to using slot B because that's what we'll be using for the, the update so one press on the memory quick memory access button down here sorry my camera's all covered in sticky things and little bumps that I've put on with glue guns and little velcros to make buttons feel differently but this camera is used for work not for fun uh, so one press on the quick menu access button will bring you to the quick menu or whatever they like to call it and scrolling, scrolling down the wheel will bring you to memory number seven is the one you want that's there we go seven and if we click the wheel one click in it we can format the card format and we want the full format full format click OK we now have a fully formatted card ready to load the update firmware onto from off the computer just something to know about these cards by the way and putting them in and out and taking them in and out if the green light is on you can go ahead and take the card out if, there, if that light is red then you can't take the card out because it's still writing to it so that card comes out I'll just show you if I do press it in and it just boots the card now the light is red so we can't take the card out until it's green as it is now so out comes the card into into the computer and I've done a search here for Sony NX800 for firmware update and we have some results so we go to drivers and updates for Sony NX800 there we go that's the one firmware uh, give you a better view of the whole page and then firmware HXR NX800 version 2 right that's the one that I want so I'll click on that see what happens right telling me what model it's for NX800 and I have to download, 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 which is up here. Oh, end user agreement. So I'm guessing somewhere down there there's a a button to click. Oh yeah, there's another download button there. So I click download and looks like it's downloading so just get some more information about the download that's going on right there we go it's downloading onto my computer now I'll just switch this off a second. 
so there's the file in the in my download folder and I you probably got your own way of extracting zip files but what I do is I right click and go up to extract here don't know whether that's the right way or wrong way to do things you've probably got a better method than me but if I click that and the files start getting extracted which it's opened and extracted there so I'll double click on that and this is what I have and the body data dat that's the one that I want and that's sorry the body data dat is the one that I want that's the one with the firmware on it and it's also if you notice the biggest file this button file here uh, the button file is update guide and that's a useful one if you want the step-by-step -step instructions you can print that out but the top one is the one with the data that we need on it so I'm gonna pick that up drag it and drop it drag and drop and drop onto my other and where I'm dropping it now this is the SD card that we formatted on the camera and dropped into the computer so there's a file on here already private you don't want to drop it in there you just drop it in the root directory which is the top level of the SD card so here we go let go drop it and it's writing that body data dat file it's writing that onto the SD card bingo done so now what I'm going to do now that it's downloaded the file onto the SD card is I'm going to eject the card properly not just pull it out so find the card and it's not the caddy that's the one so click on that okay now it's ejected the card so I can take the card out without causing any damage and then the card goes into into slot B Right, so this is the next step. Press the menu button, not for a little amount of time, but for a couple of seconds. So we get into the main menu. Scroll down to maintenance. The very bottom one, maintenance. Click on that. And then we go down to the bottom one again, which is version and version up click on version up uh, it's showing us the version it's on now which is version 1.01 which was the old upgrade this is a new upgrade but anyhow what we have to do is hit version version up and execute please use the AC adapter upgrade version yeah well we're using that and execute and click version upgrade version 1.012 version 2.00 execute hit execute the screen disappears during upgrade the lamp blinks faster according to the progress auto reboots on completion so it's telling us what it's going to do and it started yet 
Do I have to press anything? Oh, it started. I didn't have to press anything. It gave that message and uh, started doing its stuff. Oh, and there's a red light blinking. And it'll blink for however long it has to blink for. And then it'll reboot itself. And I'm going to stop filming now. I'll start filming again when it reboots. Okay, I heard the camera make a noise then, and that's how much time's gone past. So I'm guessing that's the reboot because it's back on again. Didn't take long at all. Not long at all. I thought it was going to take ages. So, yeah, that's it. There's a firmware version 2 uploaded. Sorry, the room isn't tidy and the video isn't nice and precise and pristine, but I'm just giving you some information to do something that could be a bit daunting if somebody wasn't there to... Uh, show you the mistakes they possibly could have made. I've, I already uploaded version 1.01 1. Um, so I had a bit of a, an idea how to do it and I, I cheated as well because I, like I say I printed out the instructions which are in the the, the last file at the bottom and I, and I print them in A3. The last file in the bottom of the when you unload the zip file, uh, when you open the zip files that's why at the bottom is very well worded instructions. Um, that bottom file there. Alright, bye bye now. Happy upgrading your firmware.